Hey there, I'm Casey McGuigan, Slingshot product owner, and we are so excited to have you on board. I'm here to help you every step of the way, so let's first start by getting you logged in, get a quick product tour so that you can start unleashing the power of your teams. All right, let's get started. You can either click the Try It Now button on the Slingshot website to log into the web version or download any of our other platforms such as Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. All platforms will bring you to this login screen and you can either log in with Apple, Google, Microsoft, or create an Infragistics account. Logging in with Google and Microsoft comes with some added advantages such as your contact syncing, your cloud provider automatically being added, and for the corporate emails out there, you and all your other coworkers that log into Slingshot will get added to an organization to collaborate. So let's sign in with Google. And I will log in with my Google credentials. Approve any additional uh, permissions that I need to. And then I will enter Slingshot. When you first come into Slingshot, you'll be greeted by Emily our AI assistant. Over the next few months, Emily is going to be learning a lot to become, well, your virtual assistant, making you a lot more productive. By clicking next, Emily would take you through some onboarding, but I'm gonna click skip and give you a quick little product tour myself. So, working from left to right, you'll have your main navigation on the left-hand panel of Slingshot, and this is always collapsible if you wish to give yourself more of a working area. Inside the lift panel, you'll see I'm located in the My Stuff section. This area serves both as a place for me to have personal tasks, content, and analytics, as well as a lens for me to be able to get a full, full view of my priorities. The Overview tab will give me access to anything that I have bookmarked, any tasks that I have due this week, this month, the overdue, whatever it might be, and any mentions that I've missed throughout the application. Within the Tasks tab, I can create my own tasks as well as have an aggregated view of all the tasks that are assigned to me anywhere in Slingshot. In the Content tab, I can pin my own personal files, documents, and URLs I want to organize, as well as add additional cloud storage providers that I might use. And inside the Analytics tab, I can create my own dashboards by connecting to a wide variety of different data sources. Quickly coming back to the left-hand side, you can see that I don't have any workspaces yet. Workspaces are where my teams, groups, or clients can all come together to work on different projects, processes, or initiatives. Workspaces have their own overviews, tasks, content, and analytics, and then they'll also have a tab for discussions that will enable quick collaboration with your teams. So be sure to check out my other video on creating workspaces to understand the power and flexibility that comes with them. So continuing over here now to the top right hand side, you can see Emily makes another appearance. As she's in her learning phase, you can come here and take the product tour again. And soon we'll also be adding other guided tutorial videos here. Behind the bell icon is where all your notifications will be. And behind the chat icon is where I can have one on one and group chats with other Slingshot members. You can even dock this chat window so that it's always visible while you work. And finally, behind your avatar icon is where you have different settings for your profile, your notifications, and more. And it's where you can provide us direct feedback. So make sure to utilize the feedback. This goes directly to me, and I can get back to you on any questions or requests that you might have. All right, and that's a quick product tour of Slingshot. Make sure to tune into the rest of my videos to dig deeper into all that Slingshot has to offer.